Welcome to today's lesson, mighty champions. I speak blessing and increase to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry. I'm so glad you joined me today. All the promises of God, not some of them, are yes and amen in Jesus Christ. The New Testament tells us that in 2 Corinthians 1.20. So the first step we have to do towards having our prayers answered is the same first step we have to do towards salvation and any other thing we ever in our whole life receive from God, okay? And that is, uh, for those praying for what they want, you've got to find out what the Bible clearly says about what you want. If you want healing, you've got to have the healing verses and internalize them. If you get my scripture cards on healing, you might have 200 verses on healing, or at least different translations and stuff on healing, out of that, out of those 200 verses, you might find two verses that really speak to you. Those are yours. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. Stay with the, or prosperity, same thing. Stay with the verses. As you rehearse a bunch of verses on what you need, stay with the verses that speak to your heart, okay? And so that's super, super important. Every person praying has to be personally convinced by God's word that that having your prayer answered is the will of God. And so I've been telling you about your relationship and stuff with God. And it doesn't seem like that goes along with prayer. But I promise you, a poor self-image, feeling inferior, feeling not qualified, feeling like a perimeter person and not tight with God, keeps most condemnation keeps most Christians from having answers to their prayer. So I am talking about prayer when I'm talking about your wonderful relationship with God. Those praying must understand that it's impossible to have real faith in God to answer your prayer as long as there's even the slightest doubt whether or not God's going to do it for you. I think most, you know, people, when they get in a jam, they say, well, uh, we're at such a point now that we better pray. Somebody says, has it come to that? Are we so bad off we have to pray now? And so what it is, it's a shotgun blast hoping a pellet hits the bird. You know what I'm saying? That, that, maybe one, that maybe it will work this time. No, God wants it to work every time. But you have to have a good God relationship self-image for prayer to work. All right? Faith always begins where the will of God is known. That's an important key right there. That's a diamond. Faith always begins where the will of God is known. That's why I have so many verses on healing and so many verses on prosperity and so many verses on God's protection to be, God's uh, promises to be your protector and your shield and your high tower and your very present help in time of trouble and all those scripture cards that you can see on my free app, Pillars of Faith Christian. It's impossible to boldly claim by faith a blessing that we're not sure that God offers, right? And so study and personalize and internalize the many scriptures on answered prayer, and pretty soon you'll believe that it is God's will for you to have answers to your prayer the way God promised it. Amen. We've been taught when, when religious leaders in the body of Christ don't know why we don't have answers to prayer, they say, well, maybe you're living in sin. Uh, maybe you're disqualified because of sin. Maybe God's telling you, wait. Maybe it's not in your best entrance, interest to, for God to do what he said. Duh. The purpose of the promise is its fulfillment. God's not playing with you, okay? According to the Bible Gateway, there's more than 5,467, I think it said, promises in the Word of God. And every promise of God, I can assure you, uh, promises to meet our need in some way. Forgiveness, everlasting life, endurance, answers to prayer, blessings of every kind, cleansing, comfort, deliverance, guidance, health, healing, long life, mercy, pardon, peace, prosperity, reward, salvation, spiritual gifts, success, whatever it is. It's in the Word of God, but you've got to 
find the verse and internalize it. Unless you believe in a miracle working God and that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, Hebrews 13, 8, his promises aren't going to do you any good. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry. I speak blessing and increase, healing to those of you that need healing, provision for those of you that need provision. In Jesus' name, have a blessed, blessed day and know that I love you and the promises of God are true.